All right, my friends, it's your pipe boy. So what's going on? Well, we we got a big like paradigm shift happening right now. Okay, we're gonna be flipping one slider completely on its head. In this video, we will be doing a couple very very important slider updates. Okay, including one slider that was like a game changer for me and my testing. Yeah, man. So it's so what's this all about? Well, it all starts with, with the big thing that I found out okay, about one slider. This one right here, the shot timing impact slider. Okay, this slider is definitely not what it seems. Right, because, you know, if we just look at the name of the slider and we just like use, you know, logic, then we think, okay, shot timing impact slider, right? So. What's the impact of shot timing on a shot's chances to make or miss? We could also look at it like this. In other words, you know, how much do we want the game to penalize us for a subpar release? Hey, whichever way you want to look at it. Makes sense, right? Well, that's 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 out the window. That's 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 what logic would tell us, but as we know, a lot of times there's logic and then there's 2K. Uh, they're, they're two different things in this case. So they they named it one thing basically to give you one impression, but then the actual function of the slider, what it actually does, is something totally different. Why would they do that? I don't know. I I really don't. I you, you got me there, Wendy. I I, I mean, do do I think you know they even know that they even made it this way? No. I agree with you, Wendy. I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't think they, they really know all that much about how their game really works. Like when they get down to the nuts and bolts, it's really, really quite amazing, but maybe I'm wrong, but whatever, that, that's not important. So what does this slider actually do? Well, perhaps a better name for it, you know, would have been something more like uh, shot meter timing difficulty. Okay, that difficulty part's really important because that's what it really is. That's what this thing does in reality. That's the biggest function of it. It has a big, big effect on like literally how easy or how hard it is for the user to actually get a good quality release on the shot meter. And especially for some reason, still not sure why, but especially it seems to be with contested shots. So now I know, now I see it, that, that, that's why I, I was just repeatedly hitting a freaking wall with my testing, I couldn't improve it no matter what I did, where it's just like, ugh, like even with my best players, like hitting even lightly contested shots was just way too hard, you know, and, and, and scoring and, and just offense in general were just dragging ass. And there, there was so little of that exciting shot making, right? That high level shot making, this kind of stuff that makes the league so much fun. That element was just like missing from the game. And no matter what I did, I, could, I just couldn't bring it back. It's really affecting me as a person. But now I can see that when I was lower in this slider, I was actually just making it harder. You know, and once I, you know, reversed field on it, flipped it on its head, looked at it a different way, I tell you, man, things, pretty much right from that moment, things just started opening up. It was a beautiful day, man. I, I just, improvements that I could have never gotten before, they were just starting to happen, just, just right before my eyes. I'm not talking about going overboard, but just, just like you see in real life, that's all. All right, so I love to give you guys, the viewers, first priority, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and give you the settings for both of the impact sliders for both gens right here in the video. Okay, and right here in the video, that's the only place these numbers will be until we do the full slider update for that platform. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'll start with next gen first. All right, shot timing impact slider. Let's do the user side first. Start with Rookie, that'll be at 66. 
Okay, and remember, higher means easier. Okay, and we already know why it's such a drastic change from what I had before. So, um, rookie 66, and it's going to drop two notches for each diff level. Okay, so rookie 66, pro 64, you get it. All star 62, superstar 60, Hall of Fame 58, and then the hardest one beyond Hall of Fame 56. Okay, now for the CPU. Um, this is another kind of weird thing about this slider, so it definitely does not affect the CPU in the same way that it affects the user. So for the CPU, we definitely want it low, because as we all know all too well, the CPU can definitely struggle like hell to make perimeter shots this year. So we definitely want it low, but we don't want it too low, because if we put it too low, they'll, they'll, they'll start making a bunch of bullshit shots where they, they get like a horrible release and the shot still goes in. And you're like, oh, come on, man. So it's definitely a balance like anything else. So the CPU side, shot timing impact slider for next gen. Here we go. So for rookie, it's at 26. Okay, and then we're going to drop two notches again for each difficulty level. So rookie 26, pro 24, um, all-star 22, superstar 20. You're getting it. Hall of Fame 18, beyond Hall of Fame 16. Okay, now the shot contest impact slider. So this one does work more like logic would tell you um, that it should, but the other thing with this slider is all the testing has shown me that it really is not a difficulty slider. Okay, I wouldn't put it in that category. It's definitely more of like a, like what I would call a calibration slider. I've definitely gotten the best results on next gen, putting this slider at 35. Okay, and that's for both user and CPU, both sides, and that's for every difficulty level. Okay, now current or last gen, whatever you wanna say, um, it's all the same concepts, right, of course, but it's just different numbers. Let's go with shot timing impact slider for the user side first. We got um, rookie at 63, remember, higher is easier. So we're dropping two notches again for each difficulty level. So we got, again, Rookie 63, Pro 61, All-Star 59, Superstar 57, you get it, Hall of Fame 55, and beyond Hall of Fame, the hardest set is 53. Okay, now CPU shot timing impact, again, low, but not too low for the same reason. So Rookie should be at 29. Then again, two notches down each level. So Pro 27, All-Star 25, Superstar 23, Hall of Fame 21, and Beyond Hall of Fame 19. Alrighty, Shot Contest Slider Current Gen. Same thing um, as Next Gen. This is a matter of like global calibration, right? For this platform too, it's not a difficulty thing, so. The number for current gen for that one should be 39. And again, that's for both user and CPU, and that's across all difficulty levels. But yeah, man, so this will give you like a head start, you know, on the next update. I'm always viewers first here, so I appreciate you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you found it useful. Definitely pop the like button for me if you did. All right, man, I got updates to go work on. I'm out. Remember, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified at all times. Man, hopefully I'll see you right back here next time for the next edition of 2K with the pipe. What?